Hello, brothers and sisters in Hardwell's family. I want to share an excerpt from the chapter of Stormy O'Martian's book, The Power of a Praying Woman, from the message I just previously shared with you. I felt the Lord wanted me to share these parts as it continues on from the message, giving us great insight into the ways the enemy tempts us. So it reads, Number 1. Who? Temptation can happen to anyone. No matter how spiritual and solid you think you are, you can fall into temptation. Take it from a pro like myself, <laughs> unfortunately. And she goes on to say, The people I've seen fall the hardest were those who were prideful about what good Christians they were. They bragged about their spiritual strength and godliness, and yet they fell the hardest and without repentance. We can't let spiritual pride be our downfall. Number two, what? You can be tempted by anything. The most common temptation today is sexual because the opportunity for it is everywhere. But there are other kinds of lust as well. Money tempts us, power tempts us, desire tempts us. As I've shared with you guys, my major temptations come from the desire to be understood, heard, and respected. So that can be temptation, which in the prayer of the litany of humility we ask the Lord to deliver us from. Lord, please help me. Deliver me, Jesus. She continues, Each one is tempted when he's drawn away by his own desire and enticed. Then when the desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. Sin, when it's full grown, brings forth the death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren, which is James 1, verses 14 through 16. The enemy will tempt you in the way you are most susceptible. Whatever your flesh lusts after, ask God to give you the strength to resist. Guard your vulnerable areas in prayer. Number three, when. Temptation can happen any time, and often when you least expect it and are most susceptible. When it does happen, the danger is thinking you can handle it alone. It's best to take it to God and confess it immediately and then find someone trustworthy to pray with you about it. Don't think it will just pass. The risk is too great. Treat it as a serious threat, no matter when it happens. Number four, where? Temptation can happen anywhere. In church, at work, at home, on a bus, on a plane. It will happen the place you least expect it. Wherever it is, separate yourself from it immediately. If chocolate tempts you, don't go out in the candy store. The smell of it will drive you crazy and weaken your resistance. And here she says, if a certain woman tempts you, but I'm adding also for men and women. So reads, if a certain man or woman tempts you, don't be around them. Or if you must, don't be alone with them. Separate yourself from the temptation and ask God to kill that lust in you. And that's a good one. Number five, why? The reason the enemy tempts you is because he knows of the great things God wants to do in your life. He thinks you are dumb enough to give it all up for a few moments of pleasure. He knows that not only do you stand to lose from it, but other people will be hurt by your sin as well. So he has the potential for multiple victories. When you see this trap, tell him you're not going to give in. You're not going to allow him to destroy your life or anyone else's. Number six, how? You have to remember that no matter how you're being tempted, it is a setup by the enemy, intent to bring you down. He will find your weaknesses, need, or insecurity and tempt you with whatever you're most easily tempted. This is the best reason to get rid of all insecurities and become whole people. Oh, Lord help me, he's working with me on that one. It eliminates one of the ways the enemy has access to our lives. The best time to pray about temptation before you fall into it. After the Lord presents itself, resisting temptation becomes much more difficult. The model prayer Jesus taught us to pray as a matter of course is a good place to start. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Matthew 6.13 We can also do as Jesus did and rebuke the enemy with God's word. We can stand fast, therefore in the liberty by which Christ has made us, and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Galatians 5.1 we can call on the name of the Lord, for in that he himself has suffered, being tempted, he's able to aid those who are tempted. Hebrews 2.18 
don't ever think you're immune to temptation. The older you get, the more you are a target. Many people fail when they get older because they think they can get away with it. You don't want to be the kind of person who believes for a while and a time of temptation falls away. Luke 8.13 Jesus instructed his disciples to rise and pray, lest you enter into temptation. You must do the same. Jesus' temptation happened just before his greatest breakthrough in his life and ministry. It will happen before the greatest breakthrough in yours, too. Be ready for it. And remember that no matter how great the temptation is you face, he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. 1 John 4, 4 You have the power to overcome it. We have the power to overcome it.